Queen Ushla, Fajroy Glair, Gadi Ambassad Nahiri. Ladies and gentlemen, you're very welcome to the Irish Embassy in London. Uh, I'm Adrian O'Neill and I'm Ireland's Ambassador to the United Kingdom and it gives me great pleasure to welcome this exciting initiative, the Fiddler of London, which encourages talented fiddlers around the world to celebrate their love for Irish traditional music. In 1940s London, Irish workers flocked to construction sites to help the efforts to rebuild the city following the destruction of the Second World War. With their labour came their music. And for many years, a number of North London pubs hosted Irish traditional music sessions. And it was here that some of the finest fiddlers would come to play. These pub sessions, which offered Irish workers solace and a sense of community, ultimately proved fertile ground for traditional fiddle music to develop into the vibrant and exciting style that exists in London today. It was also in these settings that Eilish Byrne first met her husband, the late Justin Whelan, in whose memory this competition is dedicated. Over the years, Eilish and Justin supported and developed Irish music and the arts in and around London. In 2004, Eilish founded Féach an Kyo, a school of traditional Irish music, song and dance that teaches young people about their Irish heritage and culture. Today's competition takes this mission a step forward. It aims to showcase Irish musical talent and connect young musicians among the global diaspora. The launch of this competition, coming just before St. Patrick's Day, is certainly a most fitting tribute to Justin's life and legacy, and he very much remains in our thoughts. This competition is also the revival of a previous Fiddle of London competition which took place in Hammersmith Town Hall in the late 1970s and inspired many aspiring musicians, including a young Eilish Byrne. I'm confident that this Fiddler of London competition will similarly inspire musicians from far and wide to participate, to celebrate their musical heritage and to showcase their talent to the world. I'd like to thank Eilish and the Fiddler of London Committee for their hard work and dedication in making tonight's event happen. I also wish to acknowledge the support of the competition's adjudicator, BBC Radio Scotland Traditional Musician of the Year 2019, Benedict Morris. I congratulate not only those finalists performing tonight, but all entrants to the competition. Your contributions collectively help to ensure that the Irish musician and music tradition is both celebrated and enduring, not only in Britain, but indeed across the world. When we're all able to meet again in person, I look forward to welcoming the winner of tonight's competition to the Embassy as the Fiddler in Residence of the Irish community. Until then, Gurumila Mahogra Gulair, Agus Arayga The Fiddler of London's a prestigious title that's going to be awarded to a musician um, tonight on the um, gala final. And it all started, oh, I suppose January 2019, um, when I had the idea of reinventing um, the Fiddler of London competition. And at the time, I um, came home, I was at Mass actually, when it kind of was a moment that came into my head. Um, and I came home and spoke to Justin about it and he um, loved the idea but knew at the time that we were involved with the London Celtic Youth Orchestra and we were bringing that to fruition so it was something that we couldn't do at that particular time so it was shelved and then since his sudden passing as time has gone on I wanted to do something as a tribute to him and thought that it would be only right and fitting to uh, run the Federal London competition. Lots of people, when reminiscing about someone, say they loved the crack, but Justin really did. He loved to be in the pub, chatting to everyone and indeed anyone, it didn't matter who. He was a man of many quirks, loved by so many and so dearly missed by all. He enjoyed life, a family man. He loved the crack and a good laugh. Justin always had a smile on his face and would welcome people in and have a chat. Justin loved his golf, which he excelled at. 
Justin always enjoyed a pint of Guinness at the 19th hole with his golf pals. It's hard talking about Justin, my best friend in the past tense. Most Friday nights, over a few pints of Guinness, we would laugh and put the world to rights for hours. We had a shared love of golf, rugby, we even supported the same football team. Justin is missed, remembered and loved by so many people. He was a wonderful family man who is and will always be dearly missed. Justin did all that he could to help every child have the opportunity to shine in their own life. All of his time was spent helping those around him. Justin was someone who never let us get off the stage without telling us how well we'd done. He was never on the stage, but he was always there in the background, carrying our instruments and setting us up. Although he was always behind the scenes, nothing would have been possible without Justin, and I will always remember his positivity and dedication. Nobody will ever understand the support Justin gave us, because he never asked for recognition or took the limelight, but he understood the value of music for children, something for which I will always remember him for. I always enjoyed his company, meeting him at music or in the local, always good for the chat, which I miss. Justin will always be missed, but never forgotten. He loved his family, Irish, Olivia and Christy. He was always so proud of them, and especially of their musical achievements. I'm sure he is beaming down on us today, with great pride at what Eilish and the Fiddler of London has done in his honour. The competition was launched in December um, 2020 um, where um, we invited uh, competitors to upload their video um, onto the Fiddler of London website um, and there was a window of about three or four weeks for them to um, put their submissions through um, and we were overwhelmed at the response, it was amazing. Um, we actually extended the competition um, entry window for another week because of the amount of activity on the website. And from there, the uh, judge, Benedict Morris, um, looked at all the submissions and there was a lot of brilliant, brilliant performances. Um, and he has, well, originally there was supposed to be 10 finalists, but they're all so good that we've ended with 12 finalists who are going to compete today for the title of the Fiddler of London. Part of winning the Fiddler of London title is that the musician will become the Fiddler of Residence for the Irish community for the year. Um, and I think one of their initial performances will be at the Irish Embassy. Um, and I would like to thank the Irish Embassy and the Emigrant Support Programme because they've got behind the project and really supported us all the way with it. So that's been fantastic and big thanks to them. So the Fiddler will perform at different high profile events um, throughout the year um, and uh, really promote Irish culture through their year of office. The Fiddler of London team would like to thank all the sponsors who have been very generous um, and helped us to bring the project to fruition. Um, it's been amazing, the outpouring from the community, really, really grateful for that. Thank you. Hello everybody, you're all very welcome to the Fiddler of London 2021 Gala Final. Our first finalist this evening is Sinead Duggan from County Galway. Hi, my name is Sinead Duggan and I'm from Galway. I want to say a big thank you to Benedict Morris for selecting me as a finalist. I'm honoured to be part of such an amazing event um, and playing alongside brilliant fiddlers. I'm going to play two reels today. I'm going to start off with a Sean Ryan tune called The Dash to Portobello and then I'm going to enter a five part reel called Coming Out Freighters. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Up next, we have one of two sisters who made the final selection. Here's Annie Smith from County Armagh. Hello, my name is Alex Smith and I'm from Armagh and I'm absolutely delighted to be a finalist in this year's Better of London competition. Um, I'm going to play a hornpipe and a reed. The hornpipe I learned from uh, Brian Conway called Minnie Foster's Club and the reed is a composition of Liz Carroll's called The Chandelier. So I hope you enjoy and thank you very much. finalists from Canada. Here's Kyle Bergout from Winnipeg. Hi there, my name is Kyle Bergout and I'm here in Winnipeg, Canada. I'm delighted to be performing as one of the finalists today and for my selection of tunes I'll play you two reels. The first one was written by Joe Burke, the great accordion player who sadly passed away recently. I thought it would be a nice way to remember him by playing one of his tunes. It's called The Morning Mist. And I'll follow that with another reel, one that was written by one of my favorite composers, Ed Reavy. It's a tune called Letty from Cabin, and uh, I'd never get tired of playing this tune. It suits the fiddle so well and really utilizes the full range. So I hope you enjoy these two reels. County Tyrone for our next finalist. Here's Una McGlinchey. Hello, my name's Una McGlinchey and I'm from a town called Oma in County Tyrone. Um, so it's been a real pleasure and a privilege to have been involved in the Fiddle of London competition this year. And I've had a really great time working towards the final um, as there hasn't really been a lot of opportunities or events available for musicians recently. So for the final, I'm playing a set of two reels. The first one is called Paddy Fahey's Reel and the second one is called Tom Macklevogues. And I just want to say thank you very much to everyone involved at the Fiddler of London for having me. 
and I hope everyone enjoys the final. to our second finalist from Canada, Olivia Barrett from Victoria, British Columbia. Hi, my name is Olivia Barrett and I'm from Victoria, BC in Canada. It really means so much to me to be a finalist in the Fiddler of London competition because I've had a huge passion for Irish traditional music my entire life. I've been working so hard ever since I was really young to improve my playing all the time, so it's very exciting to have the opportunity to compete in an international competition. I'd like to say thank you so much to Ailish for organizing the competition and thank you to everyone who's working behind the scenes to make it happen, as well as thank you again to Benedict for judging, and good luck to all the other competitors tonight. For my final submission, I'm going to play two reels. The first is a tune by Tommy Peoples called The Green Fields of Glentown, and I'm going to follow that with a second reel by Philip Duffy called Laura's Reel. Thank you. To County Monaghan now, here's our next finalist, Orla Corrigan. Gee, Orla and Corrigan is Adam Dum, August is Ass Air, am I? Hi, is I'm Orla Corrigan, a 17 year old from County Monaghan in Ireland, and today I'm playing in St Salvador's Church here in beautiful Glasslaw on the Castle Leslie Estate. I'm really honoured to be playing here today as a finalist in the Fiddler of London 2021. I've really enjoyed practising and preparing for this competition as there hasn't been any due to the ongoing pandemic. Today I'll play a set of tunes. The first one is a Liz Carroll composition called A Tune for Andrea, and the second one is a common fiddle reel called Fergal O'Gara's. Gura Mayagov, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're going to take a short interval for the Fiddler competition now, and as St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, what are your plans this year? time London celebrated St. Patrick's Day was March 2019. Here are some great memories of that day from the London Celtic Youth Orchestra's performance on the main stage in Trafalgar Square. Here in London, the weekend around St. Patrick's Day has traditionally brought a burst of green onto the streets, showcasing our Irish culture and heritage with colourful floats, music, dancing and food stalls culminating with live performances in Trafalgar Square. This year, on Wednesday the 17th of March, we'll be celebrating digitally with a St. Patrick's Day special, hosted by the London Irish Centre. Visit the website at londonirishcentre.org and join in the crack. Back to our finalists now. Our next finalist is Nisha Kettle, who hails from County Leash. Hello everyone, I'm Nisha and I'm from County Leash in the middle of Ireland um, and I'm really delighted to be here today to perform at this virtual final of the Fiddler of London competition. So yeah, I'm going to play two tunes today for you. The first is a jig called The Tram and it was composed by Donald McCaig, the Donegal fiddle player. Um, and I got this lovely tune off Anya McGinney, who is my fiddle teacher. Then I'm going to follow that tune with a really nice reel that I found on my phone um, a couple of weeks ago called Polly Put The Kettle On. Um, it was a recording of Joseph McNulty playing it. Best of luck to everyone else, all the other competitors, and hopefully we'll be at a massive session in London very soon. So um, thanks a million and I'll see you soon.
over to the United States of America for our next finalist, Katie Grennan from Chicago, Illinois. Hi, my name is Katie Grennan, and I'm so honored and thrilled to be taking part of the final round of the Fiddler of London competition 2021. I decided to film my tunes at the historic Old St. Patrick's Church in downtown Chicago. I selected two reels off of the iconic Patty and the Smoke recording. The first is Madabon Chapel, played by Martin Burns on the recording, and the second is Farewell to Aaron. I'd like to say a huge congratulations to all the other competitors, and thanks so much for listening. Back across the pond now to County Cork, next up is Alan Finn. Uh, how's it going everybody? Um, this is Alan Finn here from Bonifant in County Cork, and this is Harry. Um, delighted to be in the final of the Fiddler of London, and I'd like to say thanks very much to the team, they're doing great work for putting it all together. Um, so for my video I'm playing two reels, the first one is called Crehan's Bonnets, and the second one is called Linrod Carrick. Crehan's Bonnets is was composed by Julia Crehan. Um, and I want to say the very best look to all the finalists and looking forward to hearing some great music to some great fiddle players out there. So thanks very much and hope you enjoy. the second of our sisters from County Armagh now, here's Maeve Smith. Hi, my name is Maeve Smith. I'm from Armagh and along with my sister Ami, I'm delighted to be a finalist in the Fiddler of London competition. I'm going to play a set of reels. Um, the first one is a Charlie Lennon composition called The Moving Great that I got from the play of Frankie Gavin. And the second reel I learned from Liam O'Connor and it is a Donegal version of The Jolly Tinker. So I hope you enjoy.
London now, our next finalist is Matt Tai. Hi, it's Matt Tai here from London. Uh, I'm just here at Millwall Dock, which has been keeping me sane throughout lockdown. Uh, I'm going to be playing two reels for you. The first one is the Kyle Back Rambler by Finn Bardwyer and a lovely tune called President Garfields. Uh, massive thank you for this opportunity to everyone at the Fiddle of London. It's a great opportunity and hopefully we can meet together soon and play some music. And rounding off the finalists this evening, here's James E. Ray from County Donegal. It's my show, James E. Ray, for yes, Dunfilnahay, Dunnall. Hello, I'm James E. Ray from Dunfilnahay, County Donegal. I feel very honoured to be picked as one of the finalists. It's a great incentive and a good thing to practice for. Thanks to Garage and the Erkland Gidor for uh, facilitating this recording. Thanks to Oshin McGermott for telling me about this competition and helping me. Thanks to Teresa Cavanagh for teaching me through the years. And thanks to Benedict Morris and the Fiddler of London for um, choosing me as one of the finalists. I'm going to play two reels. The first one is The Greenfields of Glentown by Tommy Peoples. And then I'll go on into a Charlie Lennon tune called Dog Big Dog Little. Before we announce the winner of the Fiddler of London 2021, time to spotlight our younger musicians. The competition was open to all ages, and we had numerous entrants from our under 16 age group, which was great to see. To ensure the continued development of our younger musicians, we asked the judge Benedict to select an up and coming young fiddler, a fiddle player who shows outstanding promise, ability, and potential. So, without further ado, 
I would like to introduce you to the winner of the up and coming Fiddler of London 2021 award from Glasgow, Scotland, 10 year old April Macaulay. So I'm here with the up and coming Fiddler of London, April Macaulay. Um, congratulations, April, you must be buzzing. How do yeah. you feel? I feel very, very honoured because I know there's so many great fiddle players out there and it's just to win even a competition is honestly outstanding and I'm so surprised um, but I'm just so honoured to have won that one. It was, um, it was an absolute pleasure. Your performance was amazing and um, I was just blown away by it. So thoroughly deserved and yeah, congratulations. Your set um, that we're about to hear, what, what tunes are you playing? So I played The Greenfields of Glentown by Tommy Peoples and then it went into Paddy Fahey's Room. Wow, that was stunning. I'm sure we will be seeing and hearing lots more from April in the coming years. The Fiddler of London team were delighted with the number of video entries submitted to the website for the initial first round of auditions. Those that were successful went on to the next level in the competition. A number of fiddle players who accomplished a high standard of performance in the second round and were just outside the final were awarded a certificate of merit for their performance. Here are our merit winners. definitely ones to watch out for next year. Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, Benny here. I just want to say how much of a privilege and a pleasure it was to be the educator for the Fiddler of London 2021 in its very first year. Um, we had a wild number of applications um, for entr entries to the competition and it was hard enough um, to get them all down to 12 for the final and even harder uh, to choose a, a winner, an overall winner for the Fiddler of London. But the standard of playing and uh, the, the very and 
tune types and styles was totally mind blowing and it was a total pleasure um, to sit and go through them all and just enjoy um, hours of music and hours of amazing fiddle playing. Um, so congratulations to all of you um, and I can't wait to, to see you all um, or get a tune together or something when, when we can. Lastly, a massive thank you goes without saying to Eilish and everyone on the Fiddle of London 2021 team. Um, I think it's been an incredibly successful first year and I hope it becomes an annual event um, to showcase the best of the fiddle players that we have in Irish traditional music from Scotland and England, Ireland um, and indeed uh, globally as well. It's been a massive success um, and of course thank you to all of you who have entered the competition. I will say it again, it's been a total pleasure and it's been class to just sit and listen to you all play. Um, you're all amazing and yeah, I cannot wait to, to see you soon and have a tune and yeah, it'll be dynamite. And now it's time to find out who is the Fiddler of London 2021. This fiddle player produced such precise ornamentation and variation in their performance with exceptional position work. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fiddler of London 2021 is Maeve Smith. Huge congratulations Maeve, uh, very well deserved, your performance was absolutely mind blowing, um, I enjoyed every second of it, um, I was absolutely blown away by your dexterity and technique, especially in your left hand, um, the, the preciseness of your cuts and, and rolls, um, all, the, all your left hand technique absolutely phenomenal and showing incredible amounts of dexterity. Um, to move up positions, um, uh, yeah, the, the position work was absolutely flawless as well. Uh, the tunes you picked were amazing. Uh, you, they flowed really lovely, and yeah, just huge congratulations. Very well deserved. Uh, the Fiddler London competition has reached out to so many people, um, all ages. Our youngest competitor was 10 years old, and our eldest 75. And it's been amazing to see how during COVID, when so many musicians are apart from each other and we're not able to play together, that the Fiddler of London has really brought everyone together. It's meant that people have had something to practice for and it's a real sense of community. We're looking forward to following the Fiddler of London on their journey throughout the year as the Fiddler in Residence for the Irish community. Watch out for updates on our social media channels. And now it's time for a few thank yous. Thank you to Benedict Morris for being a fantastic judge for the Fiddle of London. And thank you to all our sponsors who made this whole project happen. We look forward to seeing you all for the Fiddle of London 2022. The Fiddler of London team will be hosting a gala presentation concert on Saturday the 25th of September 2021 at the Irish Cultural Centre Hammersmith. The awards will be officially presented, you will see and hear our finalists play live and of course headlining the night will be the Fiddler of London 2021 Maeve Smith. Watch out on our social media channels for more details and how you can apply for tickets to be part of this fantastic celebration. That's all from the Fiddler of London Gala Final for 2021. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you all again for the Fiddler of London 2022.